Hi, I'm AJ. I'm a designer and textile artist. I make rugs like this one. And I do so using what's called a tufting gun. And I'm here to share with you what I purchased and all the things that I got in order to get started. I've learned a lot over the last few months and there's not a ton of resources out there for tufting, so I thought I would share everything that I've learned with you. All right, so first and foremost, you're going to need a tufting gun. I purchased this gun from tuftingguns.com and I actually have a promo code for you for 15% off if you would like to get one for yourself from here. Um, it's definitely not cheap, but the discount helps a lot. So a few other things that you'll need are some sewing oil and a little fluffy brush that I like to dust away all of the yarn. And after every project I work on, I oil up my machine just to help keep it working properly. It is a power tool and a pretty intense one, so you want to make sure you're taking good care of it. Next, you'll need some kind of threading tool. I use this little wire piece with a hot pink yarn attached to it so I don't lose it. But this is the tool that will help you feed the yarn into the gun. Um, and the gun that I use, by the way, is called a cut pile gun. Um, and it makes the kind of rugs that I've shown you. I will probably do another video about how to actually use the gun but for now those are the things that you'll need to take care of it next you'll need some scissors some really nice sharp scissors uh, you'll be cutting a lot of yarn in order to make a rug so those are absolutely necessary next we need yarn in order to make a rug that people can walk on, you'll want to use either wool yarn or acrylic. These yarn cones are definitely ideal, they're from tuftingguns.com as well, and it's really nice because the yarn can feed from these cones very consistently, which is really important um, when you're tufting. Now a bundle like this from a craft store could also work as long as you can tug the yarn from the center and that it pulls out with ease. If it doesn't, then you'll have to continue to thread your tufting gun over and over which becomes really uh, tiresome as you're trying to make a rug. Next is monk's cloth or tufting fabric. So I got this also at tuftingguns.com. It's just a nice canvas essentially that you will push the yarn into using your gun. Next we have adhesive. So once the yarn is tufted into your tufting fabric, you want to glue it all down. So I use this carpet adhesive from Home Depot and it's basically just a super sticky adhesive that is also weatherproof and then once that dries you're gonna need to connect the the tufted piece into a backing so in order to glue the backing on I use this multi bond um, all-purpose spray that works really well also from Home Depot so that brings us to the backing now we have a couple different options. Um, you can use felt, this right here is a wool felt. Or you can get a little bit more fancy with a rubber backed felt. So um, this will help, help the rug to not slide on hardwood floors. Okay, next and probably most importantly, you will need a frame. So this is a large frame that I recently upgraded to, but I did start with this smaller frame from tuftingguns.com in their starter kit, and it's really awesome. It's great for beginners, but the frame essentially has these little teeth that the cloth grips onto, as you can see here. Um, ideally, you'll have some kind of spool that your yarn can sit on so that you can feed the yarn easily. So that's everything that I use to make these rugs. 
tufting is honestly such a satisfying and rewarding medium and I am happy to share all of my tips with you so if you have any other questions feel free to drop them down below and I will try to address them in future videos but in the meantime everything that I showed you here will be linked in the description box and be sure to hit subscribe for future tufting tips.